Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, look what just came. The new Radicals, the new Head Graphene 360 Plus Radical Pros. Stay tuned. So guys, I finally got the Radical Pros in. Right? They're calling this the new Head Graphene 360 Plus Radical Pro. I had to make sure I got it right because I always jack that up because their name is as long as forever, you know. So, but anyways, I finally got these in to try. Head didn't send me that prototype that was in gray in the pro version. They only sent it to me in the MP version. So, I'm um, very excited to try this one because, as you guys know, I like weight. So I strung it with a Selenko Confidential 16L, 55 pounds. I know I usually string it at 48, but uh, Coach Andrew is going to try it and Coach Chris is going to try it too. So, um, and I'll get a pretty good feel out of it too at 55. Um, but, you know, let's see. Um, quick note for this racket though. The beam is now 20, 21.5 and 21 now so slightly thicker in here right slightly thinner up here and obviously spiral fibers as their latest technology in the throat area so very excited to try it uh, too bad i didn't get it in the gray earlier but uh, we'll see how it goes okay stay tuned got my man coach goo got my man coach chris we're going to try out this orange, new orange, Radical Pro. All right. Stay tuned. So we just got off the court with the Radical Pro, the new 2021 Radical Pro. Um, Coach Gu, first impressions? Um, it's definitely a racket um, that I used to look into before I switched over to Yonex. Um, I believe they did a good job. It's heavy. It's heavier, I believe, than the old version, in my opinion. Um, color scheme, a little too bright for me, but it's a new change. It's kind of going with the color scheme of like the extreme so it's very highlighted um power is good um a little bit actually muted from the last year version because the last year version actually gave you more pop this one how it felt like it was more of a prestige feel um, a little more control um but overall i mean um not a bad racket for uh, the radical series um personally i'm not I'm, i don't can't i can't use this racket because one, it just lacks the feel of my Yonex. The Yonex gives, because the Yonex 95 gives a lot of feel. This one mutes a lot of the feel. Um, that's why, I mean, if you're a person that looks, wants to look for the, stay in the radical family and looks for a little more control, this one's a good one for you. All right, so this is a little heavier, 11.1 versus 10.9 yes. for last year. Definitely. So. There's a change. There's right, a so there's change. a bit of a change, just a bit of a change in the weight, mm -hmm. all right? So Coach Chris, what did you think? So this racket, uh, after hitting with it and play testing it for a bit, um, it isn't quite to my liking too as well. Um, although it, it does quite uh, feel pretty firm, I just couldn't quite, uh, I guess, I didn't feel like I had enough feel to and comfort as I was playing with the 95, the new 95 uh, Yonix um, that Coach Gu likes to as well. Um, this racket, even the whole kind of aesthetics of it, it's a little bit too bright for me. I'm not sure if I would be able to pull this off, although I know a few people that might do as well. But uh, overall, again, like uh, this racket also doesn't really, f I didn't feel like an 11.1. It did actually feel a little bit lighter to me. Um, but you know, another racket 
that's uh, enjoyable to test to as well. So, yeah, I I was watching you hit with it, and I, f- I feel like you actually got around it pretty well. Yeah, you know, so even for eleven one, you know, before strings, you were doing really well with it. Mm-hmm. Um, Andrew actually looked really good with it too. It's just you know, I think for you, it's just a feel thing. Yeah, right? I need more feel in my rackets. Yeah, right. So, um, I'll finish mine back at the shop. Thank Coach Andrew for hanging out with me today. Uh, where can we find you, Coach? You can find me agu.tennis, <laughs> and I'll also be posting that content there as well. All right. Want to, want to also thank Coach Chris for hanging out with me today. Um, I'll see you back at the shop. All right, so back at the shop with the new Head Radical Pro. So there's not a lot of difference, if any difference, between the Pro and the MP, except for the weight. Okay, it's a 98 square inch head. It is now 11.1 ounces before strings. So they added a little more weight to this particular model. So they also added a little more weight to the MP model. So I personally like the extra weight. Um, I, you know, for some reason though, it, it got muted. I'm not sure if the spiral fibers had something to do with it, uh, but it lost some feel. That MP didn't seem to lose feel though, but the Pro seemed to have lost a little feel. Um, it played well. It's just kind of the feel thing kind of threw all of us um, off a bit. We strung it with Selenko Confidential 16L at 55 pounds just for them to, to hit. Um, even at 55 pounds, it was fine for me. I would have probably preferred it at 48 and it, pro- and it probably would have felt better there. Um, like it was literally strung 24 hours right before we went out to the court to try. So, I mean, it's, if you're a radical fan, you will probably like it, but just note that it is a bit muted. Uh, you will, you probably should, uh, string it a little lower than you normally do just to get a little bounce and a little feel from the racket. But overall, you know, not a bad racket. Uh, definitely not my cup of tea. Uh, didn't seem like it was Coach Andrews or Coach Chris's either. But if you're a Radical fan and you're a Radical Pro fan, um, I actually like the extra weight in it. So you should probably uh, try it. But the three of us actually like the MP uh, a bit more than the Pro. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.